what is up guys this is Karan here welcome back to tech Karan youtube channel this is a vos 3.0 which is from v smart device which is v smart os which i've installed right now on my redmi note 8 which is based on android version 10 this is actually the ported rom or you can say this is kind of a gsi kind of thing but not actually gsi you have gsi available for this also you can go and install this if you're using any other device right now i'm using redmi noted which is kingo you can use this build this is a ported build which you can install right now ported build but has a lot of things which are the things you get in this build i'm gonna share with you a lot of things about this this build let's get started let's find out Guys, we're gonna start with the home screen and the launcher which you get here. If we talk about the default launcher, we have the OnePlus launcher pre-installed as you can see. But if you go to the about option, we have the OnePlus launcher v4.5.9 ported by Skull Shady is the default launcher which you get here. Has a lot of customizations we already know about the OnePlus launcher. So we're not gonna talk about this OnePlus launcher. But let me show you one thing. If I do these kind of things, you can see my wallpaper is now kind of a 3D wallpaper which is very interesting interesting i've not used any third party app for this it's available pre-installed let me show you how you can do this if we go here if you go to the wallpaper section we have a lot of wallpapers earth hot balloon land landmark 81 lux a2 lux sa these are a the lot of things if i choose this one and let me show you like this if we do set wallpaper home screen and lock screen you will see this kind of a 3d effect everywhere you will see in almost every wallpaper which you will apply it from that option this looks kind of really interesting this is not the widget by the by the way it's pre it's not pre-installed i have applied from the super widget which i have installed right now on my device so you can also use this widget if you want to but the things are quite impressive by the way i'm using it from some time if you talk about the status bar icons it's kind of little bit of rough here but you can see the volty icon is there if you talk about these kind of things and if you go to the quick settings panel we have some things kind like of one ui which is from samsung ui here which have a little bit of options by the way screenshot screen recorder screen timeout sync and some other things which are included here you can see i have the volty icon available volt is perfectly fine in my case i have no issues here and there i'm using it from some time didn't got any issues till now i'm using almost every app and let me tell you some little bit of things about there i've tried to to check out the Antutu benchmark score it was not measuring at all I've tried to check out but it was not working Antutu benchmark was force closing after doing testing about 50 to 80 percent sometimes so I was not able to test this score by the way but let me tell you about the Geekbench score which I got and but let me tell you one more thing that I seriously don't believe in these Geekbench scores because sometimes a room a build gives you bad Geekbench score but the performance would be better than the great Geekbench score room so this is not good this is not actually confirmed or all about devices performance and a lot more things right now in my case I'm getting 313 the single core score and 1319 is the multi core score which is obviously better than the stock one as you can see average we have the multi core score of 1300 now we got 1319 which is not bad by the way and you can see the single core is 307 and 313 better than the stock one and yes it's a ported room might be late there will be a little bit of bugs but i didn't face any major bug till now so there are no issues from my side if you go to the settings option we have a lot of things available connection cellular display lock screen and biometric sound notification face lock is not working at all i've tried to that one also so if you use face lock just don't use it because you'll not be able to try out this thing in this build if you go to the software update we have the software update option available here as you can see your system is up to date you can check out and update your security patch if you want to some little bit of things which are included here let me tell you if you go to the connection we have the wi-fi bluetooth and airplane mode and cellular have the mobile data network data usage and sim card if you go to the display option we have the dark theme option available to screen timeout which you can choose to the never i have already chosen this to never i also choose these kind of things all of the display is also perfectly fine here you can enable this if you want to but yes i will still recommend you not to use always on display because that will drain your battery so it's better not to use that navigation bar we have the three button navigation and the gestures and i'm using the gestures which are perfectly fine so some cool kind of things which you get here are available sound have a little bit of other things almost every ui is kind of unique which you don't get in almost every custom room so this is kind of a different one it's better to install and try it on your own 
lock screen and biometric says the pattern lock fingerprint lock and face lock is not working at all as i already told you so don't try to enable it or let's move on to sound notifications everything is same kind of thing privacy location you already know about talking about the battery backup i didn't got any extra battery drainage by the way i'm not saying it's per one of the perfect battery backup rooms but yes it's good by the way it's not that much bad or you will not see extra drainage while in deep sleep mode or while playing games or these kind of things it's normal and like kind same same kind of other rooms out there going on the accessibility gesture software update system google and these kind of things which you get here it's better to try this build on your own because it is a ported room you might face little bit of bugs here or there or depends upon your device whichever device you have in my case i'm using a redmi note which is a, which has this ported room but yes its gsi is also available i'll provide the link in the description for the gsi also so it's better to try out that gsi and you will easily use this build on your device this is all from today's video the link for this build is in the description you can go and install this thanks for watching goodbye